Fishing traditional helicopter rigs or running rigs in weed or among rocks is a problem. The trick I'm going to show you will enable you to fish these systems safely without having to lose a lead every single time. First of all, this is the Nash Heli kit system with the boom, etc. there. This is the running version, so that just runs up and down there. And then you've got the little bead that pops off there, so it's completely safe. At the lead end, if we pull that sleeve up, we've got a little quick link installed there, and we can change leads and uh, clip that back on like that, slide us down like that, and there we are, ready to go. So this system is designed so that you don't have to dump the lead every time. You get the boom in there, which helps prevent hook pulls when you're playing fish, and it works. The trouble is, if you use that system in heavy weed or in rocks, and that lead gets jammed, because we've got it on a clip at the moment, then you're going to have problems. So the other option is to use something like the called a heli safe. So again, that's a running shod with a little quick change uh, shod system on there. And that works by, you know, the fish is pulling there, bit of a shake and the lead's off. So it's great if you want to dump the lead every time because you have to, but it's not always necessary. The trick I'm going to show you will enable you to fish these systems safely without having to lose a lead every single time. So what I'm going to need here is I'm going to need some three pound mono. I've just grabbed my little float fishing reel here and we're just going to nick a bit of that. Could be two pound, could be four pound, just any light mono will do for this. So all I need to do here is just slide up that sleeve, expose the quick link, pop the lead off like that. And I'm going to remove the quick link entirely from the system. So we've just got the loop of the uh, Klingon leader there. The next thing I need is just a standard size 8 swivel. This is not a ring swivel, this is just a standard size 8 swivel. We'll pop that through there, and we just loop to loop the swivel on like that. So when you buy standard carp fishing swivel lead like this, they always come with a swivel at the top there. So if you need to cut it off, cut off the swivel, but that's what we need to use here. So I'm just going to take off 10 centimetres of this very fine mono. We pass the mono through the lead, and just fold it in two like that. Then we take the swivel and just pop that over one of those strands there. So I've now got the lead and the swivel tight together with the two tag ends of the thin mono like that. I'm then gonna make an overhand knot with the two tag ends like that. So at the moment we've got quite a big loop and we don't want that loop, we want to make that loop much smaller. And how we're going to do that is we're going to take the tag ends and we're just going to pull them away from one another. And you'll see the knot goes down to be really small so that the swivel and the lead stay together like that. I'm then going to take the two tag ends again, make a second overhand knot, pull that up, separate the tag ends, pull the tag ends. So we've got two overhand knots and some light mono. And I want to cut these as short as possible, really, really tight, maybe only like half a mil tag end. And there we go, that's the rotten bottom setup. We can then take our sleeve and slide that down like that, take the beave, take the boom. And when we put it all together, it looks exactly as the original system did, except we've replaced the quick link with a tiny bit of mono. So I've got a three ounce lead on there and that's only three pound line with basically nothing more than a couple of granny knots holding it all together. I can cast that 50 or 60 yards with a gentle lob, but you're not going to be able to cast that kind of setup 80 or 90 yards. If that's what you're doing, then what you're going to have to do is add some PVA tape to this setup, otherwise it won't be able to cast so I'm just going to use some narrow PVA tape. So I'll go through the lead. I need to go through the swivel as well. And then we'll do a couple of overhand knots to secure that in place like that. Then we can slide the buffer bead over the lot. And there it is, ready to fish. So the advantage of a simple little setup like that is that 
you won't lose the lead every single time you hook a fish. The sprung boom helps prevent hook holds because you get that bungee action there. So we don't have to drop the lead because of that. If that lead gets stuck in heavy weed or between rocks, it breaks off really easy. If I just give that a pull, then it's gone. And that was, you know, it's just a few pound of force. It's absolutely nothing. It makes all the difference in the world to be able to land the fish. If there's no weed and the lead doesn't get stuck, which is, you know, more than often going to be the case anyway, you keep the lead. Saves you money, better for the environment. So depending on the sort of waters that you fish in, you know, you'll be able to tune this setup. You might say, well, I'm fishing this really kind of tricky place that's very, very heavily weedy. You might only want to use a, a, a one pound, eight ounce bottom or something like that. Uh, or you might be doing big chuck work and you know, the PVA tape, it's a bit of a faff. You, know, you might find that you just want to switch up to six pound mono or eight pound mono and that's, that's the one. You might find two granny knots, three granny knots. You're going to have to experiment to see what works for you in your situation but the point is that you can tune it. It's only a little bit of mono and a couple of granny knots. So this rotten bottom trick is not just restricted to the shod rig. Here we've got a standard helicopter set up. This is a stiff hinge rig mounted uh, helicopter style. We've got a little uh, Nash heli sleeve there and that bead just pops off there, absolutely flies up and down there. Massive bore on that, so super safe. But if you're trying to fish that in weed or in rocky situation, because we've got the Klingon leader loop to loop direct to the top of the swivel there like that, then if that leg gets jammed, then you're never going to be able to land the fish in that scenario. Still going to be safe because it's a helicopter rig, of course, but you know it stops you using that setup over weed and among rocks. So I'm going to use exactly the same trick in order to make it safe, just like we did on the shod rig. So I'm just going to disassemble this now, pull through the leader there, take the lead off. I'm just going to take, again, it's just a regular swivel, and then we loop to loop that onto the Klingon, like that. And we take our heli sleeve. I'm just going to use a big gated latch needle, pass that through there, hook on the leader, and slide that down like that. So we can just pull the swivel just partially into there because we need to fit the lead on next. And we take some of the three pound mono, pass it through the lead, and then hook the swivel just over the one end. And then we do the overhand knot with both the tag ends. That's important because otherwise we can't make the knot smaller. So at the moment we've got a big knot and if I just pull the tag ends down, we get a little knot. We go over again, second overhand knot and just slide that down. So that's our rotten bottom connection there. And just slide the sleeve down on top to cover them up and that's ready to go. And we just slide our quick change heli swivel back on the leader like that. And you've got to be careful with these beads. You've got a big tape, a big difference in diameter there. That's the big end, that's the little end. So you want to use the big end first because that's what's going to sit on the taper of the sleeve and absolutely flies down there. And then just with a little bit of force, I mean really nothing, just nip that on there and that's just going to keep that swivel in place in flight. But one pull from the fish, dunk, and he flies off. It's a very old school method this, there's nothing new about it at all, but I think in the modern melee of carping, a lot of anglers might not have known it or, have, or might have forgotten about it. Really quick, cheap, simple, makes your rigs extra safe and it enables you to fish these type of rigs in situations where before you might have had to dump the lead every single time and I try and avoid that at all possible cost. If you want to see an example of how to create a running rig that uses the principle of a rotten bottom then watch this video.